I filmed the whole intro for this and somehow this is all that my camera got. Hey guys, for today's video, mm, let's just stop. Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to be doing a little productive day of my life as well as a grocery haul because you guys seem to enjoy when I do grocery hauls. Currently, I'm sitting in my chair and I have my computer here and I also have my SD card and my little importer thing because I'm going to go ahead and edit two book videos that I just filmed. I have been so bad at filming and posting on my book channel recently and this channel because I've been so, so busy recently because I do school and then when I'm not at school, I'm at work and then when I get home it's very hard for me to have the energy to like film and whatnot but I really like to film because I love to do book videos and talk about books and also I like to be able to interact with all of you especially my comments and everything so I'm trying to get caught back up with all of that so yeah I filmed two videos I'm gonna edit them and then I will post one and have one pre posted or ready for next week and then I won't have to worry about filming another one for a little bit but I might film another one later today I'm not sure this week I really focus on getting meals that are cycle sync to my menstrual phase because I'm going to start my period in a few days. So I basically got meals that go along with like foods that are good for that. And I'll insert a little thing on the screen of what I use because I don't just remember what foods are good for each phase by heart or anything. I look at like this picture or there's other pictures that I'll look at. But I got some really good new recipes that I'm super excited to try this week. And then I think tonight for dinner, I'm going to make one of them and I'm super excited about that. So we're going to go pick up the groceries later. I'll give you a grocery haul of everything I got in case any of you are like trying to do cycle syncing you basically just sync the foods that you eat to where you're at in your monthly cycle you have your menstruation phase and then you have your follicular phase and then you have your ovulation phase and then you have your luteal phase for each phase in your cycle you should be eating different things to prioritize your health and your energy during that time especially when you're in your period you have like very hard periods what you eat can affect that so much and i really really realized that because before i started doing this i never did any type of cycle syncing or caring about like like what I ate on my period we're trying to prioritize those things and then when I started doing it I noticed such a difference like cramp pain and your flow and everything so I will give you guys a haul of what I got later and show you guys some of the things that are really good and then also in my last video I shared that I got a bible because I've never had one before I got one and then a lot of you wanted to hear more about it because I think I said if you guys want to hear more about it I'll talk more about it so yeah I'll probably talk about that later but for right now I'm just going to edit my videos and get that done and then we're gonna go get my groceries and I'm trying to be productive because I've been so overwhelmed recently also I decorated my house for Christmas which makes me so happy who's to know what happens when the world ends at least this is a no It's an awful house, and I wanted to get you out. I'm working on a plan right now to come through. I've waited for a lifetime for you to come down. Oh, nothing feels the same without you. Popping in from the future because I wanted to show you guys something really quickly just because there's like a whole sale thing going on But I have always wanted to get a printer But have been very hesitant about which one I got because so many printers are so big and annoying to put somewhere Like it just takes up a lot of space But I got a printer and look at the size of this You could put this in your backpack if you wanted to and it's just connected through a cord this is the Munbin A4 portable thermal printer. As you can see, it's a really nice compact size. So if you are someone who travels and you're in school or doing work, whatever it might be, you could literally put this in your carry-on backpack, suitcase, and you can use it to print things out as you go on the go. It's so easy to use. I literally just set mine up because I have to print out some things for school, but also I just have fun printing stuff out on Pinterest all the time. So basically what I did, I just connected it to my my computer really quickly and also it comes with a USB-C little adapter thing so you don't even have to go buy that separately which is so so nice and then I just added the printer to my computer and now I can
can print things so i'll show you really quickly i'm just gonna print like a bible verse or something just to show you because i already printed my school stuff but here's the printer right here as you can see it just has a little on button right here and you can also use this button to do other things like cancel print or print something and then there you go as you can see it is printing it out right now but i'm gonna hang this up so then rip it off like that here it is so it just printed it out now i'm so excited because i really like printing stuff also it's so convenient for christmas time as well if you're printing like labels or if you wanted to make little cards or something like that they sell this on their website they also have shipping label printers which is so great if you own a small business and also they're all so cute like look at this one it's pink it's just adorable and i don't have to worry about a big clunky printer being in my office also if you don't use a computer they do have a mobile app where you can do mobile app printing which is all through bluetooth which is so nice easy and convenient i'm just using my computer right now because i have it with me and that's what i have my school stuff on but it's so easy to do stuff on your phone too you can also print things of different sizes like this is something that i just printed from my phone so it didn't use up the whole thing of paper if you don't want to do that just depending on what you're printing but I wanted to mention this now because for Black Friday during the whole month of November, you will have the opportunity to participate in the weekly three lucky winners free order event, which is on the official website. And you'll also get 25% off on the official website as well, which I'll have linked down in the description box below in case you guys are looking for a printer or a shipping label printer. They also sell tons of different papers and whatnot. The Amazon link down below will also get you 5% off on orders over $225. And if you click the official website link link down below and use code capital k o l 12 you can get 12 dollars off on orders over 100 dollars. so yeah if you're looking for a new printer this is for you great idea also great idea for christmas presents and there's lots of black friday sales going on so i just thought i'd throw that out there now but enjoy the rest of the video i finished editing just in time to go pick up the groceries so i'm gonna go do that but i'm gonna turn on the christmas tree so it's on when i get home I love turning my Christmas tree on. It's a bit of a Grinch mystery. It's not a very full tree and it's really hard to fluff, but I love it nonetheless. So let's go get groceries now. Just got home, gonna give you a little grocery haul and try to run through it pretty quickly because I don't wanna bore you or anything. Also, I have the sink running because I'm thawing shrimp out for dinner tonight. So. Let's do this. Sweet potato, which is very good for you on your period. Some onions, which I'm going to use tonight. Two lemons to slice and freeze for my tea every morning. Two cloves of garlic, which are also for tonight. One honey crisp apple. My new favorite snack ever. I eat these so much. I'm trying out this new tea. It's blueberry green tea. Thought it would taste good, and they also were out of the regular green tea I get. I got some black beans. I actually forgot that I got these. I got some more salt. These are some of my favorite protein bars, like the Nature Valley ones. Spaghetti protein pasta, which I'm going to use for dinner tonight. I got two huge chocolate bars. One of them is salty dark chocolate. The other is hazelnut butter. I'm gonna put these in the freezer because dark chocolate is super good for you because it's high in iron for your period. Some peanut butter as well as some canned chicken breast. In this bag, I just have my eggs. Let's see what else we got here. Cauliflower crust, four cheese pizza. This brand is super good. I got a bag of kale because kale is very good for you on your period and I'm gonna put it in a soup. I'm not a huge fan of kale, but it'll probably be really good and just absorb whatever flavor the soup has. Oh, I forgot I got these. I got these blueberry protein waffles. Blueberries are one of the best berries you can eat on your periods because I think they're high in antioxidants and these look so good and they were really not expensive either. Also got some raspberries because they've just been so yummy recently and some baby carrots for soup and these are also just very good for you to eat. I got this applewood bacon chopped salad kit. I probably won't use the dressing or the bacon but I'll just use a different dressing for this. A P3 protein back. This is one of the bigger ones that has turkey, almonds, blueberries, and cheese. A big container of blueberries because like I said very good for you on your period. And I got some parmesan cheese which is for dinner tonight. Next up I got some chicken broth which is for a soup I'm going to make this week. I also got this giant, is this a, it's a butternut squash and this is for dinner tonight. Last but not least, I just got two things of salmon because salmon is super good for you to eat on your period for so many different reasons and that is everything I got from the grocery store. Okay, and then for dinner tonight, I'm gonna be making a roasted garlic butternut squash pasta with shrimp for protein and I've heard that butternut squash or just squash pumpkin in general is really good for you like when you're on your period. I hope that it tastes really good because this is a new recipe recipe 
And yeah, I'm super excited to try it. All right, so I cut up all of my veggies. I cut up the squash. We have some onions, two garlic cloves, and I threw a little bit of carrots. And then I just seasoned it with some salt, pepper, and um, olive oil because obviously there's a lot of other flavors here, so we don't need like a ton of other seasoning. And then we can just season it to taste when the pasta cooks. So I'm gonna throw this into the oven at 425 for 25 minutes. And then as that's cooking, I'm going to cook the pasta and I thawed out the shrimp. So we're gonna throw everything in together at the end. What's the point in dreaming if I lose my voice? The second I get caught by you, I wanted you to know that I. Here is the finished product. It's so good. It is a few days later to when I last filmed. I think I showed that I made dinner. By the way, the dinner was so, so good. And that's coming from someone who's usually pretty picky, especially about squash. I think the only squash I've ever liked I've ate in is acorn squash. So I really, really like the butternut squash taste in the pasta. I also think it's a good way for like a hidden vegetable if you had kids or family members who say that they don't like vegetables because it really didn't taste like vegetables at all. I just wanted to come on here before I end the video and talk about something that I said I was going to talk about and that I talked about a little bit in my last video and that has to do with the bible that I got which I have like a little pen that's safe and stuff. I got these from Amazon these pens they're called Mr. Pen. I don't know if it's specifically for bibles but if you look up like bible safe pens that won't bleed through the pages since obviously they're really thin. They came up and I really really like it. It's like a five pack and they'll last for a really long time. I wanted to talk about it because I showed that I got a bible. I've never had a bible before. Not an adult bible at least. I've had like ones when I was a little girl. Yeah, I just want to talk about it a little bit and my kind of thoughts on it. It might not be what you want to hear exactly, but this is how I've always thought of it. If you feel like you have something rude to say about it, you don't even have to leave a comment because it's just going to be wasting your own time. Because I'll probably just delete it and then you'll have made that huge comment about someone else's life for no reason. So like I said, I've always considered myself Christian. When I was little, I heard stories about the Bible and that type of thing, but I never actually like read the Bible or looked into it more as I got older and a big reason of why that is is because I feel like a lot of people weaponize the Bible and they use it as like a weapon to say you're doing this wrong and you're a bad person and all this stuff one of the main points of the Bible is to not judge others it's always been a very controversial battle in my head of whether or not I wanted to explore my faith more if you will so I've always believed in God and I've always believed in Jesus like since I was very little that's kind of what I grew up around but my parents never forced anything on me which I am really really thankful for because it's allowed me to make my own decisions about it later in life and I don't have like religious trauma which I know a lot of people do have and so that's why I'm not undermining anyone else's experiences with any type of Bible or religion because everyone has their own experience I obviously am not trying to push my opinions or ideas on anybody at all either I've kind of always just felt weird about it because because of how many people use it as like a weapon. I have always kind of looked at many of the messages in the Bible that I've grown up around in a very different way than a lot of ways that people use it to portray their own inner beliefs and conflicts and judgments towards other people. That's kind of my thought process and beliefs on it. And I don't think everyone who's Christian believes that at all. I have so many friends who are Christian. I don't know, I wanted to look into it more and also because the Bible is a book or many, many books, it is up to a lot of your own interpretation. And of course, I think people interpret things differently ways and sometimes people interpret things in a way that they feel that they should judge others based on which I don't think is right and I won't be doing that I do like a lot of the messages that the Bible teaches and that is what I believe so that is a little bit more about it and yeah I just really wanted to get a Bible too before Christmas that's my take on it I hope that that made sense but that's gonna be it for this video I hope you guys liked it if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe down below and I will see you in the next video bye guys love you I'm afraid, but we can make it go. Cool.